Hi there, folks. Thanks for tuning in. Hope you all are doing okay. So, been thoroughly enjoying my uh, normally scheduled shutdown vacation. Haven't gone anywhere yet, but just been uh, spending a little time with my younger two kids. Older two have been at camp the majority of the time I've been off. Uh, they just got back today. But I had something on my mind that that I wanted to mention real quick. So, I'll admit it's not an original idea, what I'm about to say, but it's something that I think bears repeating. So, one of the things that due to my nature when it comes to how I behave on my private social media that I've learned is that a lot of people are 100% convinced that they're right when they don't know anything. Now, I'll admit that it's possible that I don't know everything on what it is I'm topic talking about. But when it comes to jumping into the field of debate or exchange of ideas or a conversation on a, a controversial topic where we both disagree on what's uh, what the best way forward through a given situation is, if I'm going to lay down a hard, this is what we should do, I try to at least know more than the average person on a given topic, on that specific topic. But, one of the things that when I, it's something that I may not be as educated on, I try to act like I might not be the smartest person in the room. And for that matter, going into any discussion, I act like I'm not the smartest person in the room until I can find out if I'm at least the smartest person in the room on whatever topic we're talking about. Reason being is, in a lot of cases, you'll learn something from somebody. You know, I've imagine the you that was five, ten years ago, or imagine you last year, and all the lessons that life had taught you over whatever period of time you just chose to think about. All well and good. Now, if you had been the most educated person about whatever topic those lessons were on, whether it was relationships or dating or uh, your job or being a parent or whatever, would you have been able to learn those lessons? And I've learned a bunch of lessons in the past five years. And if I knew everything about everything on those topics, I wouldn't have been teachable and I've learned, and no sense going through all that here, but, you know, I've, whether it was in my marriage, about being a parent, about friends, about uh, co-workers, you can kind of name it. I've learned a lot in all those topics in the past five years, and it's made me a much better person or at least a much more capable person in those areas where I've been willing to learn. So, I've been in several comment sections stirring up trouble because sometimes it's fun or sometimes people are just so wrong that they have to be corrected. It's another way to look at it. And, you know, I'll get in there and I'll post something and it'll set someone off for sure. And I don't really care because that's their emotions getting out of hand, not mine. And when it comes to someone trying to hurt my feelings on the internet... I think there's only been one person that's done it successfully, and that's because they made a threat. And at which point I'm like, I'm out, block, delete, move on. 
that's the one thing I want to buy it on the internet. But aside from that, many have tried. Almost all have failed. I think one person actually got me irritated. So, you getting upset is just a you problem. I don't get upset on the internet, period. Sorry if I'm being distracting. It feels really good rubbing a shaved scalp. Um, anyway... So I've delved into all these comment sections, and a lot of people just act more informed than they are. Uh, I'll give you a quick example of, I don't want to call the guy out because of things, but a guy I used to know a lot better than I do. Um, we went to church together, we did a lot of volunteer work together. And he moved back to be closer to family. He moved south to be closer to family. Um, when the Uvalde shooting had just happened, he posted something on Facebook to the effect of, you know, my heart breaks for these families. If it weren't so many doggone guns in the country, none of this would have happened. And... I went, I went and we started commenting, and he's like, well, this was my post about being sorry for the families and, you know, setting up, you know, praying for them and praying for the people that are so twisted in the head that they would consider doing this. And I'm like, well, you kind of went after gun rights, so that's where I jumped in. I can post my own stuff about being sorry for the families. And we went round and round and round and round. And this guy is vehemently anti-gun, but knows zero about firearms or about the laws protecting firearms. And we ended up coming up to, a st to the point where I just facted him into shutting up, <laughs> which is kind of fun to do. But anyway, we... Um, went round and round for a long darn time and he just refused to hear any of what I had to say is knowledge worth knowing that for starters every mass shooting is a, a soft target there's no armed security there or no serious armed security there there's no bulletproof glass or anything like that uh, everybody there almost everybody there is unarmed the resource officer didn't end up actually engaging with the Uvalde shooter. Um, the police stood outside for, what, an hour and a half. They were ready to go in within three or four minutes of the start of the shooting, and the captain said, no, wait, wait. Um, and on and on and on and around and around and around we went, and he was just continue to say you don't care you don't care and I'm like I do care but I I disagree with your prescription on how to fix the issue and I've heard many people that are at least honest about firearm related deaths whether they like guns or don't like guns if they're honest about it I'll listen to them they made a remark that I think we have a mental illness problem masquerading around the country as a gun violence problem and I like that because I think it's true. Whether I use a gun to kill a person has next to nothing to do with whatever drove me to make the decision. The gun might make it easier. Sure, it would. But the fact that I got to that point in my head speaks of a bigger problem, in my opinion. But back to where I started when you sit down to talk with someone and a lot of times you might be you might be right to assume you're the smartest person in the room and a lot of times you might be the smartest person in the room or you might be the smartest person on a given topic but when you step into a room and you're talking about finances or guns or politics or uh, whatever make the assumption when you start out, that you're not the smartest person in the room because you might learn something from someone more educated than you. 
then again, you might be completely disappointed. You might be talking with a bunch of idiots. So either one's a possibility. But that's what I got on this one, folks. Thanks for tuning in. I will catch you all next time.